Uh, let's see. Kind of liking this 1084. Um, six nine three is kind of interesting because I feel like you can also get decent in wheat. Uh, eight four three would also be interesting if that's not taken. Something could even go like nine four eleven here, and then try to scoop wheat up later on. They could even like, yeah, place here maybe, or like there. Hmm. A couple different options. You got a wood pour over here, which is interesting. Only one really good wood spot though. Yeah, that 963 I thought was pretty interesting. Okay, it is interesting to note that this uh, eight three is open. I'm not sure that we will get a chance to actually place there. I would kind of like to go like some combination of here and like, well, let's see. If we did like this, this four, five, 11, technically we could get value out of the eight three there and maybe even build up into like this six wood and that's a that's kind of a long strut though um i do kind of like this four five eleven just in general for a third position here guaranteeing some ore and then maybe forcing somebody into this like nine ten eleven well we can maybe get a more favorable like follow-up spot I think we will. I feel like somebody's going to place here, though. I don't think we would want to place there necessarily, but maybe we do. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, shoot. Which way does my road go? You know what? We're going to gamble and go up, I think. This is probably a horrible road. <laughs> um, but I just really don't feel comfortable heading this direction with all those like prime spots. Not that I don't think that these spots are going to get taken, but I can't really go left either because I also think that one of those are going to be picked up and kind of block my ability to settle. So this road might just be dead in the water regardless. Okay, yeah, I figured somebody was going the 9, uh, 10, 11. And then he's probably going to pair that with, he could just do the 5, 9, 10. Okay, they were, they, sadly they took the spot that I was kind of hoping to get there. I could just go right into this like 8, 5, 10, which is very, very tempting for me, honestly. Because the wheat's a little bit, or the uh, sheep's a little bit weaker than I would like. There is also precedent to go here. This would get us, you know, all five, of course. Um, and a three to one, but I don't really love being on like double stack in the 11, which is pretty eh, scuffed. Now this gets us a lot of sheep if we do this. Um, we stack the five, which is not the worst ever. Kind of the same thing here, right? The trade-off being brick versus 
sheep, I guess. This does have the sheep port, but yeah, we don't really have much use for it if we don't go this 8510. I think we're going the 8510, personally. Um, yeah, I think that's just going to be the play here. And then we'll try to just build down to the 3-1 uh, to one here. Because we will absolutely need a 3-1 to one this game, for sure. We're heavy into ore wheat sheep. I don't love the ore that we're on though for this strategy, but I think it's as good as we're gonna get. I was somewhat optimistic that maybe this spot would be open, but we're never gonna be able to actually build there. So again, I think this is just kind of a wasted road and I think someone's gonna beat us there. Maybe we'll get super lucky with like road buildings and aeroplanes or something though. Who knows? Yeah, and then somebody's definitely taking that. Uh, so blue's looking pretty strong actually with their uh, with their setup. Yeah, I think either either way I tried to go here, like blue is still just gonna be in a pretty good spot. There was no no stopping them. Man, they're blocking our four. That's really rough for us. Like, that's the linchpin of our entire strategy, basically. Yikes. You hate to see it. Um, man, what can we do here? Man, there's the four coming out hot. Shoot, this is really rough. I should be the most likely, eh, actually blue has some, some decent sheep. But maybe I can still get some value trades for it because blue will probably just be spending it on cards. So maybe there's still hope for us yet, but the more I look at this, the more I'm kind of not that enthused by it. Should have considered that blue was basically just gonna be like the shoe in for army. Unless we can somehow get the nine block to happen soon and stick for, you know, the majority of the game. But we also are in desperate need of wooden brick just to get to our three to one. So, oof. Hmm. Well. Pretty sure we block the nine. Pretty sure we steal from blue here. Probably yes. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get a wood out of this somehow. I'm thinking no, but maybe. Hmm. Man, a couple four to ones coming our way. Oof. Uh, it's gonna be harder to get brick, I think, on this board than it would be wood. But as soon as we four to one for brick, we're gonna become a, a target. Oh well, not much we can do about it. Except hopefully get a ton of resources to help defend our hand. I will always do that for wood. But they don't have any. Oof, why is it blue that's rolling? Oh, he's gonna go right back to the four too. That's gonna be so frustrating. Yep. And then steal sheep from us, of course. So annoying, I'll never get a card this game. And then the nine rolls as soon as he moves it. Oh my god. Just brutal. Maybe I can somehow trade a sheep for a... Yeah, they don't have access to sheep, so really purple should be thinking trade a wood for a sheep here. Purple, you're my guy. Come on. Come on, purple. All right, well, we're boned. I 
now they might. I'm really surprised they wouldn't make that trade with us. They absolutely need sheep to settle. Uh, I'm going to make you the same trade I did before. You do not have wood, though, but... Ooh, actually, that's a decent trade for me. That we will do. I don't even care if he settles. We never had a shot at that anyway. Alright, so blue has already gotten one card. That's gross. It is good. I mean, I would assume purple at this point would be willing to trade. There we go. Yes. Absolutely. Sadly, it gives them all settlements, but all I get is a road out of it. Which is great stuff. We absolutely steal from that guy. And then we grab ourselves a card here and call it good. Purple spot's kind of interesting with the uh, double wheat setup and the uh, wheat port. Don't hate it for them. Yep, there goes the knight. I mean, he has to know I'm just going to move it right back, but that's fine. Yep, give me all that. And a 10, okay. Looks good. Can't really take anything useful from red yet. Unless a 6 or a... A 3 rolls. I do have positioning on red, which is good. Guess what, Blue? Coming right back. Eight. Good, good. Can help you out again here, Red, if you would like. Or uh, purple, rather. Yes, sir. Now we will try one of these as well. See if we can just hopefully get the settlement this turn. That would be ideal. Red, you know you want this. Negative. Um, yeah, I think we just go ahead and uh, maybe we try one more time here. See if anybody wants to do this. One last shot. Nope. Okay. And then we call it good. Man, they just always roll these sevens. It's brutal. Five of them so far. Hopefully they just don't go after me now that I actually have wood and brick. But I think he will. Yep. He's gonna get the angry face. Give me back my wood and then we'll talk. <laughs> Alright, so he's got an ore now, which is good to remember. And blocking the five is so annoying too. We're really dependent on our production here. Uh, I would do a one four. Whoops. Wait, what? If 
you want to sling some wood my way, I got you, homie. guys are so far ahead of me. It's crazy. I wonder if I can trade purple for his wood here. Come on, purple, do it. Bro. I would even do two for one here, because I'm that freaking desperate. Come on, purple, that's a huge get for you. Not even. Okay. Ridiculous. Dude. Sevens are ridiculous. I, you have to assume that he's going after purple at this point, right? Especially since purple actually has wood. Okay. Let's see, seven, six, so there's a couple sheep in Blue's hand. What else does Blue have? I can't really remember. Yeah, wood brick is turning out to be the absolute play on this board. Six. Doesn't help that four is never rolling. And nine, and everything else. Hard pass. Hard pass. I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting a city this game, I'll tell you that. Let's see, what is our strat? Even if we settle here, like, what do we do next? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so scuffed. <laughs> Maybe the eight? Oh my goodness. The six two, can't really get to the nine. Yeah, that's, that's like it, dude. Maybe going here was the better play just because of the road option. Hmm. I don't know. We need to roll some sheep. Perfect. Let's see what anybody wants for a wood here. Doubt they want anything, yep. Standard. So we're gonna have the most expensive settlement of all time. That cost us what, like, at least eight sheep and four wheat? I think even more than that. So that's pretty cool. Now is this a mono in his hand is the real question. Red and purple looking kind of scary. Basically, I blame Blue for blocking this, like, at the start of the game. Like, just a, what a, a stupid dumb block. Watch him do it again. Watch them be, like, some sort of gold player or something, silver. I don't think there are any diamonds in the chat. Certainly not me. Why? I don't understand. I mean, ideally you want to hit both red and purple, and more importantly, like, slow them down from continuing to settle. I don't think they're anywhere n near city, so blocking weed I don't think is the play here, but all right. Well, not a lot we can do here. 
purple might want a sheep randomly for cheap, but I don't think they have anything of value that we need right now. They do not. Let's find out though how bad they want this. Not at all. Okay. Without some fours, this game is absolutely going to be unwinnable. And I wish they all these guys would stop rolling sevens. Three for him, three for him. At least purple's not rolling them. They've gotten two, but they haven't really lasted. Maybe red and purple will grief each other from here on out and give us a chance to hopefully catch up. I think we're just in such an awful position that that's not going to happen, though. Um, I think that's a hard pass. Could get wood, but yeah, we're not really... We're kind of looking to city at this point, to be honest. City your card. All right. Cool. What a good block. Cool. This is going to be a, an awful, like, next three turns or something, probably. Unless fours just start raining down. Well, let's see, who do I like to win this game actually? Uh, so purple's Achilles heel is they don't really have sheep, so they really have to grind up all of their wood. Oh my gosh, a four rolled. Um, and then red kind of has everything they need, but they do have that, that wheat weakness. But if, if 11s ever start rolling, we're, I think we're just kind of destroyed. So red's probably the favorite to win, I would think. Unless blue can, uh, city up soon. If he cities up soon, he might be pretty scary. I wasn't necessarily going for uh, the uh, the low brick strat, no brick strat, but it did cross my mind given given the placements. I was basically in a situation where like I could place, I could have like had my second settlement here or something and gone for like all the uh, the resources, and this would have been my starting settlement. But it was like really low production, and I was like, I don't really like my outs either. So I opted for this when I probably should have opted for this one instead. But I didn't really love being on the uh, uh, such bad sheep here for this board. I was really kind of keeping the dream alive that I could actually like be the army player this game. But I should have never ever thought that that was going to happen with Blue's position because he was either going to get this spot or this spot, and then he already having the six and the nine paired with like good wheat is basically like the nail in the coffin for my army situation. Of course, I don't. Jeez, this is so scuffed. Um, let's see, man. I don't even think he has anything good. Actually, he might have an ore, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure purple has an ore in their hand. I don't care if they rode out. They're gonna need to city soon enough, so yeah, blocking a 10 is not the best, but still probably the best we're going to be able to do. So I think we just have to take the city here while we can. <laughs> oh man, this is gross. I'm so tempted to put it there because this four is just going to get blocked when they try to like grief purple. Uh, I think we're just too far behind to not just take a while the risks. Okay, risks paying off maybe? You don't love to see that though. It's a, that's a very scary 11. Okay, okay. 
now become the enemy of all who live. There's the mono, of course. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, glad we could get those fours just for, uh, just for the sake of blue. It's perfect. Like, damned if I do, damned if I don't here. Who do I even block? I mean, I guess I just go to the most likely ore for these people. Like, jeez. I could get some more sheep for my trouble from blue. Actually, shoot. Maybe I should have gone... Actually, they might... He might have something besides sheep, but I'm probably getting a sheep. Yeah, it's fine. I'm so last place this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I would need an absolute miracle. Two fours and a five without me like getting seven down or monoed again. <laughs> and even that's probably just helping purple more than it's helping me. Oh my goodness. Elevens are no good for me. Eights are no good for me. They help red and purple probably more than me. Uh, tens, tens, nope, tens are no good. A two. Basically, if we just start throwing twos for like the next 20 rolls, all right. Okay, that guy had two monos back to back. Ridiculous. What a game. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so good for purple too. I don't think there's any way back in this for us. We would have needed one of those monos, I think. Hmm. Anybody want a sheep? <laughs> That's weird. Nobody wants a sheep. Huh. Some small mercy that the one time in like the last three games my robber has actually like successfully blocked a number. Not that it matters. in time for all that ore to get used up. Okay. Perfect. Man, who even has anything of value left? Nobody, certainly. Uh, they... No, nah, I think they just three for one their brick, right? Yeah. For sure. How did they do four brick? Oh, they don't have a three to one port. Um, there was a three rolled. <laughs> Man, this is, uh, anything I get is just clogging my hand at this point, unless it's like an actual, actually a sheep might be all right. Maybe blue has sheep. No. Gross. <laughs> I could build a road. That would be really good for us, right? I think at this point we'll just attempt to gamble here and get robbed immediately for, for the one ore that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably a night, right? Or 
A two. Something that doesn't help any of my opponents. It's perfect. I'm all set up for the seven. Nope, just a nine to help them out. That's that's pretty solid. Let's see all the no's come in fast and furious here. I think I just, man, I'm just so tempted to start drawing cards and maybe I can get army and keep army to like maybe get a slightly better position since <laughs> oh my god, this is so awful. Well, that's... Nah, I'm pretty sure i go for a second one here. We're just not messing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... We'll need to city up that too immediately. It's paying off. Well, so much for the army dream. Is there. What other kind of dream can I have here? <laughs> Go settle the 2-6. Uh, one, two. If somehow I could pull a ton of wood and uh, brick out of my butt, I have a shot at like taking road for a, a brief moment in time. <laughs> Watch him go back here to the 8 again. Oh no, he finally blocked somebody else. Interesting. Do I become an agent of chaos and go back to the card game? Hmm. Or do I just still try to win with the city? Yeah. I guess I just try to win with the city. Hang on. What else can I do here? I mean, I could immediately road settle, but... No, I can't, actually. Because I need to play both those cards. Yeah, we'll just city. What a weak play. Where does he go? He should be stopping... Ideally both blue and purple, I would have thought. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Fighting for third this game. I'm not getting it because this guy is going to get army for sure. This guy will be naturally head on points and then he'll probably win. Actually, I could see either red or purple winning this game. Still. Like if the 11s roll, it's going to be over pretty quick. At least he has to move it now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just griefing me as like a collateral damage. Good lord. Oh, there's the 11s. Well, at least that'll help this game end real, real quick. Well, at least we could steal from... I think I'm gonna grief them both actually here. Yeah. I wanna shut blue down, but I also want that door. I'm right. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, let's see. No, I cannot get what I need here. All right, I'll just do this, I guess. Of course. Just 
to Gentleman's 18 sevens. And half the time it's been on that four. I need a bet. How does he not have a city? Back to the eight. Or the four. Oh, there's his army. Of course, dude. Just ridiculous. Yeah, I've got no shot at third. Oh, this is an awful game. Had I known that four was going to get blocked so much, I never would have ever built there. But I figured, hey, it's it's the lower of the the ore options. This should be safe, right? Nope. What a useless road building. Well, at least they actually have to have their hands at this point. Come on, purple, just end this game already. Put me out of my misery. We're just gonna keep rolling the sevens to drag this game out. <sighs> Holy shit, man. Cool game. I mean, you should steal from red. I, he has ore, dude. Like, what are you doing? This blue is just absolutely targeting me this, like, almost the entire game. It's been insane for no reason. Hit him with the, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yep, this could be the worst of drinking games. Even if you did like half a shot for a seven, everyone would still just be in the hospital. Okay. This is gonna be like a hundred turn game just to like <laughs> make me maximally suffer. Jesus. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Fucking blades grasp. Alright, that's helping get this game moving. That's a city for red immediately. On the, yep, 9, 10, 11. And then I don't think they have a second one. Mm -mm. They do not. 10, okay. We're back on track. Don't worry, I've got a road building. You better play a knight and block me and steal from me. I'm coming for you, blue. Technically, if we rolled a 5, I could city again. City up that 5, too.
let's see what we have in store here. Hey. Okay. Pretty sure we're just going to draw cards, though, I think. Because I don't feel like <laughs> getting that city is worthwhile in any way, shape, or form. Not that the cards are that useful, but maybe there are still victory points. I don't have a chance in hell of uh, beating blue, I don't think, but... Maybe. Okay, there's a knight. At least this might give me something to do on my turns. It'll be a little more fun than just sitting here watching myself get robbed and blocked. Just in time for the game to end right about now. That should be another city, I would think. On the 6311. Right. Why does he want to shoot? Oh, he needs to four, or three to one, probably. Yeah, because the 10 was rolled recently. Um, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, I'm not interested. Nope. Awful for us. Seven probably would have been better since he had a billion cards in his hand. He's uh, the one I'm trying to actually beat here. Maybe just switch targets. Maybe try to beat red. Okay. There we go. Thankfully that ended real quick. Jeez. Nine points. Youch.